consistency tree, we, we, it's not like we added up a lot of combos or, or counters, it's just that we finished what we had it at, at E3. So, for example, it's all these, the counters with the hidden blade that is, is in it. We did a lot of work on, on sound feedback, on special effects, like uh, in, uh, at E3 there were some um, uh, counters or combos that didn't have any blood attached to it. Now it's all done, it's all there. Um, but basically what we did also is tweak the, the AI part of it, how many hit it takes before uh, a soldier is, is, is dead, how many hit it takes to do a combo kill, and then also maybe the polish side of things where like the fight is more intuitive, is, is more responsive, uh, the free running element also is more uh, polished and the AI of people, uh, the reaction system of the crowd and everything is, is, is more polished. Uh, we did some tweaks on the morale system that we had at E3 but that wasn't really uh, shown because it was, was not tweaked, we didn't see, it was the, the conditions to make the morale work were too, were too hard. And uh, the staging system also, which is like how the, since there's a group of soldiers attacking you, how they behave, when they are, are they attacking, when are they in defense stance, and what are the, the cues that we give the player to know, oh, if they're, they're changing their, their, their mentality of fighting, or here's I have an opening. So those two months, it's just like, we had the alpha for E3, now we're in beta, and uh, the time between an alpha and a beta is where you tweak your, your thing. And that's what we've been working on in July and August. And now it's about debugging, okay, to have the game on shelf. We did some work on, on the uh, HUD, make everything more readable and more understandable. Uh, also, on the, uh, we worked on the SFX of locked, unlocked. So, can I lock on this dude? Yes. Am I lock on him? Yes. It's more clear where we added up like an, a really small arrow on top of, of, their, of their head saying, okay, you're lock on this, on this dude. You don't have to go and do one mission in particular, depending on where you are in a game. Because there's some moment, like at the beginning, for example, where it's a little bit more straightforward. You know, at the beginning of a game, you don't want 100,000 choices because it's just way too much anyway for your for you to handle. But really, you can start a mission in one city, for example, doing one or two investigation and saying, okay, I need to do four, but I, I don't want to, for X reason. And then you can go back in the kingdom, travel through the, the other city that is open, do your investigation there, finish the mission, and go back to the first one and, and finish your investigation and finish the mission. Or you can just like in between just play in the kingdom if you want to, right? Or go back in the Assassin Stronghold and try to find all the collectibles. Or go back in the first city and do all the free missions. And, and that's really, in fact, you also, not, not only are you co-creating the experience of a mission, you're co-creating the structure of the game. You receive a mission from your mentor in the Assassin Stronghold and that opens up one, two, three mission depending on where you are in the game. Then you must travel to the city in which there's an assassination and then there's the exploration part where you could go to the Assassin Bureau to receive some information about your target or, or on how to investigate your target or you can just start right away. There's also in uh, Assassin's Creed some side quests that has not really to do with your main mission. There's the, the um, free mission where you must free some citizens from harassing uh, soldiers. There's also the reach high point or viewpoints where you must find the highest points in the district. Once you go there, it's about climbing and getting rid of all the archers that are guarding the, the high point. And once you're there, that will unfog a part of your map because the, the map of a district, at first, when you enter, you cannot see where your missions are or side quests are. But as soon as you go to a high point, one of the, the part of the, 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 the map is on fog and then you see uh, where the guards are, where the hide spot are, and, and some missions, some side quests. And there's also some collectibles to be found. Our game is more about like 
you can pick up your own rules and have fun with it. So if you want to be the assassin that doesn't fight at all or only when it's necessary, you can be that character. I'm not forcing you to do to be an Altair that way. People who like to fight will have a blast. People who like more a, a solid snake experience will have a blast because it's in it, right? Casual gamer will have fun walking around and hardcore a player will have fun, uh, uh, fun assassinate and, and, and freeing every single citizen that there is to be free. Really, the character in itself is almost a bland actor, a blank actor, and you're the one put it your, your, your spirit into him and, and make it as fun as you want. Assassin's Creed is coming up this November for 360 and PS3, and look, uh, look to it in every single game store there is in the entire universe. Your presence annoys. <clears throat> what is it now? Be gone, monk. Let me go.